Hi guys, welcome back to Edgeware channel. So today we will be discussing uh, the major differences between BAMS and BVSC and H. So uh, everybody will be in a dilemma in the counseling stage to select who, uh, whether we need BVSC or BAMS. Like so, we all are in a dilemma about this course details. So by this video, you will be having. A clear idea about the BAMS course and BVSC and H course. This video is strictly for the neat aspirants. So BAMS, it's actually the Ayurveda, Ayurveda course, Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery. It is the course name BAMS, and the duration of the course is 5.5 years, where you will be having 4.5 years in the college and one year internship, compulsory rotatory regular internship service, and this BAMS colleges, that is the colleges and the university who are giving BAMS course is under Central Council of Indian Medicine. It is the authoritative agency which gives out the regulations and guidelines for the proper working of BAMS institutions and hospitals and universities. So the admission process is through NEET and also management seats. So in the management seats, uh, for the admission, you should have to write the need that is the biggest problem nowadays. That is, if you are qualified in the need, you can go for management seats. And if you are having very good marks, you can go for all in the accounting through the Ayush website. And nearly you will be having 20 subjects in the long term, 5 year, 5.5 years. That is, you will be having nearly 20 subjects. And here you will be having Sanskrit. So, Sanskritam, which is known as Sanskrit is also included in the long term subject and you will be leading with the human medicine the ayurvedic the ancient human medicine you will be studying in this bms and the ministry under which these subjects or these colleges are is actually the ayush mandralaya or health mandralaya so in the salary uh, leading in the government sector, if you are attaining the Public Service Commission, you will be getting uh, 30k to 40k in the starting. And in the private sector, it will be depending on your knowledge and ability. So there are uh, doctors who are qualified BMS, producing even 1 lakh in the month. So if you are having good knowledge and good ability and good proper treatment facilities, you can get more marks. Sorry, more salary. And the extension is actually. You can go for Ayush or Yoga Sciences and now in the abroad people choose Ayush and Yoga more than the pharmacological aspects of drugs and all. So they are going for the health science, Ayush science. So the next is the BVSE and AH or it's known as the veterinary science, veterinary science. So it's the Bachelor of Veterinary Science and Animal Husbandry. That is the degree name. B, V, S, C, and H. And the duration of course is 5.5 uh, years, that is 4.5 years in the college and one year compulsory rotatory regular internship services. So the mandatory body is the Veterinary Council of India, VCI. And the admission process is through the NEET and also management seats. Management seats are very less and the management colleges are very less in case of veterinary. So there is a scope of chance and nearly 20 subjects in the long term service or the long term 5.5 years you will be having 20 subjects and it will be like english medicine and like uh, allopathy like subjects and here you will be dealing with the animal medicine and animal treatment and if at all you are not interested with animals please don't choose this subject because in your life you will be completely dealing with the animals and their animal products animal byproducts etc whatever so you will be dealing with animals. It's actually the animal doctors. And the ministry is agriculture ministry. And in the salary, it's like uh, basically you will be getting 30k to 40k like that something. And in the private sector, it will be depending upon the knowledge, practice and ability. So I myself know people that's veterinary graduates who are creating a salary of 1.5 lakhs per month. So they are getting more money per month because they are having good knowledge, good practicing ability, good practice power, good uh, machines and all to create a good 
So extension uh, veterinary graduates can go for food safety, agri banking, and many other streams. So if you are, uh, if you want more details for the extension, you can go to my channel and you can check for the videos. So thank you guys.